Hi guys, Sandra here. Um, every month I've decided to do a different MDF kit. So this month we will be having a MDF baby bottle um, which comes with your baby girl and some MDF embellishments. Also comes with lovely graphic 45 precious memories papers to decorate it with this piece here is to decorate the top of the bottle you also get a selection of borders and embellishments from the papers pill strings and lacy pills and then you get a selection of flowers stamens and some other little embellishments so we have so what i'm going to do today is i'm just going to show you how i put it all together and we hope you like it so i'll just move this over here out of the way. so i've pre-painted my um baby girl and my little mdf embellishments um i didn't have any peach paint so i've mixed a bit of pink and yellow to make peach so there's a few ways to decorate the bottle first way is you can draw around it cut it out with the scissors but what I like to do is I should have checked my glue was unblocked first is to put glue straight on my MDF and then move it back and forth like that and then cut around I do it this way because you get a nicer edge And you don't have to give the glue long, it grips quite quickly to the MDF. And what I'm going to do there, I'm just going to cut across the top there. Right, oh, missed a bit. So that'll be the front. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a bit of tickle in my throat this morning. Just trimmed that nicely there. There we go. So that'll be the front. So I'll do, just do the same for the back. Okay, I'm going to make put glue all over. So the pages are big enough exactly for what you so just give it a little bit of a, a wiggle perfect and then just trim around with your craft knife like i say you can always draw around it if you're not very good with a craft knife and cut it out with the scissors. I always used to like used to like a glass cutting mat as well. Don't forget to turn the actual MDF so you get better movement when you're trimming with your knife there we go should be just a bit there we go 
I need to put an even blade in my knife. So that's the back. Oh, a bit there. Obviously you go a bit slower than I am. So for the top then. Trim around that. Yeah, I think I need a new knife, new blade. Actually, I'm constantly turning it to get into the corners. And if you like fussy cutting, you could cut out all the flowers from what you've got left to add extra embellishment. So that's that done. So that goes there. Just lost my pokey tilt. There it is. <coughs> so then you just use your pokey tilt. Daisy Jewels and Crafts have got some fantastic MDF glue in at the moment on their website. I'll leave the link down below the video for you. You don't need a huge, huge amount of this. It's really, really good. Just spread it about a bit. There we go. And then glue that onto the top. It just takes a couple of minutes to go off. Going on, there we go. A minute. So, don't do what I've done, I've put the paper on the wrong way around. So, you've got lots of embellishments. I like to put the ribbon around the centre there. So, you could use your hot glue gun or you could use red tape. I'm just going to use red tape for this just for speed if I can find the end. And I'm going to put this all the way round. So you get enough of the pearl on lace to go right round it. Can't find the end now. There it is. And when you're putting your pearl on, put start it off in the centre on the back because we'll hide that make sure it's straight and then just trim off any excess like that so then we've got the the border, if you wanted to put the border on somewhere, you could put the border along. But I'm going to stick the baby girl, baby girl there, like that, I think. And I'm going to put the heart just underneath the hole. Can you see there? Just the hole there, yeah. Red tape does my head in. Glue guns. I've got a cordless glue gun, they're brilliant. So I'm just with a you can glue them on, but just for a bit of extra I'm gonna put 
put that there. I might actually put that, put that by there. stick that there like that over the lace yeah, like that I've also got the cherish I might put the cherish on there and then the flowers An embellishment, so I'm going to just trim off some of those. Glue gun is better for this. If you have one to hand, most crafters have a glue gun. I don't know how many glue guns I've gone through. Flowers on next, I think. So your flowers will vary, but they will all match. So you might just need to trim the bottoms. Put your embellishments anywhere you want to. Stick that one under there. Put that one down there. So I'm going to use a bit of the MDF glue on the back of the heart. I'll just pop that there. I hope you can all see. The sun's a little bit uh, bright this morning here. I'm going to pop that there. Put that there. I'm going to put one of the embellishments down by there. You might be able to hear my dogs walking around in the background. Oh, here Shadow's decided to have a little bit of a cough. <clears throat> so that looks, and then on the back, we have the larger one where you could write your little message. So write your message first and then use some sticky pads. And then you can cover where we joined the lace in the middle, like so. And you could also put in, you could also put that one up by there. I might put them by there. So then you have your pearl string. So you could either use. Um, Double a thin, so it'd have to be three millimeter um, red tape or double sided tape as long as it's quite strong. I tend to use um, my glue gun for this, so I'm just waiting for it to reheat up again. You get enough to go right round, and you'll have a little bit left over to decorate under here and here. So 
so hopefully that should be warm enough now yeah so I've broken my extra thin nozzle on my glue gun the other day I dropped it on the floor so you don't need to put the glue all the way around you just need to put little dabs here and there just to hold it in place Watch don't be in your fingers. I do that a lot too. But I really think just adding the peel around the side adds adds to it. You could always paint it first if you wanted to. I find chalk paint really nice, covers the dark edges. Lovely. Or give it a coat of gesso first and then give it a coat of paint if you wanted to hide the dark edges but like I say I like I like to peel strings so nearly done make sure you get it in the corners because that's where you need, you need the peels to stick in the corners so there like that Top. Oh, sorry, you can't see me, I've just realised. So that's your peel around the outside. We've got a few strings there, but we'll get rid of those now in a minute. And then for on top of the paper, I'll just use a bit of red tape. A bit, put some in there. you'll have enough to go underneath there. Let's use a glue gun for that bit. So obviously you're going to go a little bit slower than me. And there you have it. One Baby Girl MDF bottle. Beautifully decorated with the finest papers. Graphic 45. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, have a look at my other videos and I'll be back soon. Thank you.